You already know how to represent a multiplication sentence using an array. In this lesson, we'll use arrays to demonstrate an interesting property of multiplication. Suppose we have the multiplication sentence 3 times 6. We know that 3 times 6 means we add 3 6 times. We can represent 3 times 6 using an array like this. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. Watch what happens when we rearrange this array. This new array is the same array as we had before, just rotated. However, this array represents the repeated addition 6 plus 6 plus 6. In other words, this array represents the multiplication 6 times 3. So 3 times 6 and 6 times 3 are equal. This is a very important property of multiplication. It doesn't matter which order we multiply in, we get the same answer. Let's look at another example, 4 times 8 and 8 times 4. We can see that the array that represents 4 times 8 is equal to the array that represents 8 times 4. It's just rotated. Let's look at one last example. We can write two different multiplication sentences from this array, 2 times 5 or 5 times 2. In the remainder of this lesson, you'll get practice writing the two multiplication sentences represented by the array given.